Welcome, my name is Commander Black Star Lord at your service. And today we're going to be playing um, Guild Wars 2. So let's play Guild Wars 2. We're basically just doing our dailies, getting them over and done with. Um, and then we'll shoot off up the street and then we're going to check the post and do all that stuff. It's only 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to do Vert and Brink soon. That's going to be the closest, closest things, but we've got that. Uh, what dailies we're going to do today? Uh, Capped one ruin. Think five enemy guards. Uh, that's okay. And visit. Uh, oh yeah, that's that one. There we can do that one. And that one there we can do. So it's pretty easy. A lot of that stuff. We've got to kill a lot of people yet. Um, that's just. Okay, so first things first. We want to go. Okay, hold on. I'll check that one. over here. I'll check that. Double checking this because I can't. Okay, making sure it's done. Take that. Um. Now we want to go there because we, ha we haven't got much time really because we've got to go to. We're looking at how, how close Vernon Brink is and it's only a couple of minutes away really. So I'm going to get that done as well. I might have to go on straight early, I don't know yet. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we go in no hurry, really. Gotta check the post pay bills. Um, I don't know if I've got to pay the bills today because I've got this down. I got cat right there. Yeah, I know, I'm just looking at the very, the time limit is kind of like, we should be able to get to this one and then come back out and get to the top one there and... And then go from there, because we're looking at, as just before, Burn and Brink, it's... When you pretty much, it's over less than a minute, most of the time. Not overly worried about killing anything. Yeah, we better stop here and transfer over. Commander Quill, where are you? Commander Quill. I'm losing my mind. Okay. No. That one. I was just watching, um, uh, I was watching uh, the pro I was watching the news this morning and these protest, these people trying to sue the government for climate change. I mean, really, it's just beyond a joke. It honestly is beyond a joke. Um, I'm being honest with you. Okay. First of all, Australia, the, the, the swing Australian government for not doing enough. Now, I just heard also t today on the news that um, in, uh, the King's speech, um, and he's talking about, he didn't even know he's a climate, he, he, he's a nature thing, he's a climate, climate, what's the name? He's talk, they're talking about, um, what do you call it? Um, they're talking about uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're talking about getting drilling more oil, more oil wells, um, and more gas wells for England. I mean, okay, that's just, 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 just a side note. 
There's other nations using up more coal and stuff like that. And these people, it's okay, their islands may be suffering from higher tides and waves and that, but that's just part of nature. It's part of life. Um, it's going to happen without with humans involved or non-humans involved. And they're trying to sue the Australian government for lack on climate change, on policies and stuff like that. Um, and this is what bugs me. It's really kind of, I find funny in some ways. Um, because these people are that stupid. Not just them, but also other people too. We've done that. Summon that out. Go to five. Basically, we smash. Oh, we don't want to be anywhere near that. And as soon as he looked at me, I'm like thinking, hey, he's going to, he's going to basically attack me there. How did he get run away with that? Oh. Where is this bloody bad person? I don't think that helped, did it? I think it might have. Eliminate that one out of the face of the earth so we can concentrate on killing this one. He's got the blue bar up again. Take that down. Let's get some more of these out. I find it funny because the the people he's almost dead save people oh bad person bad creature there And this is the, the irony of it. The people are... Okay, we've got to really up. I've only got one chest though this time, which is annoying. Okay, first of all, we produce 1%. Okay, the reason why I've got this one, we do this one, because we want one certain chest. The reason, um, the reason why I'm finding it funny is because this is what we're after. We're after this, because that one there, we use those up. When we need to get the funeral and the funeral licenses, everything else in that box is kind of irrelevant. Um, being honest with you, you don't need it. You don't need to use it. Um, so, what I find funny, I actually do find this funny, is that they're suing Australian government. But the thing is that we produce less than one percent of the world's pollution. That's a whole of Australia. That's twenty-six million people. Right. And now, okay, yes, okay, the government possibly could do more, but to sue them over um, over that is stupid. Um, you're going to achieve nothing. And I hope it doesn't work. I hope the, the High Court eventually sees the truth of this and 
it's easier for what it is. Now, I said before, I do that one for a reason. Um, I'm going to go out the street yet and check the post, but um, it's 11 o'clock. We just got... So normally I do this in the morning now, but I sometimes, some, sometimes do it in the afternoon. Might as well get another battery if we can. That we're full. Oh, we want this one now. Dum, da, 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 da. We're pretty much full. We could do that, but there's no point. Now we'll continue on what we're doing. Occasionally I'll pop in there and command a box and have a look at that. I could do Van and Brink again and see if I can get that silver chest. Which would be nice. There is new stuff on the market. I don't know if it's on... Has it been updated the wizard's fault? I don't know. Whee! I only, I only stop if I could be bothered going after the jade chest. Um, other than that, don't even bother. I've got to kill a elite or something like that. Um, there's no J chest then, I just don't worry about it. It's taken a bit longer to build to get up, that's really slow. Oh, that's an elite, isn't it? Well, first of all, we'll go get the chest. Now we'll kill it. Really? Hello? Does that one? Thank you. We got that one done. Um, anything new in the wizard's ball? Uh. Oh, that's been redone. Okay, so. Agony resistance? They power five though. Uh, I think that's worth it. Uh, I have to think about it. Um, we'll go for it properly. Actually, hold on. Uh, weapon chest. That's what we want to get. Take that one straight away. Um, certain things in here. The armor chest we don't need. The weapon chest we definitely want to have. Um, bag of laurels, we'll take all of those. Oh, you're back up again. find a slightly safer area where we can do that. Um, okay. Um, bag of laurels, okay, we got these. 
this. Oh, that's right, there's a few more left. What else do we want to... We need those, so we need about... Get some of those. Got 60 left. Um, I'm trying to think of what I'm looking at. Trying to get... Build expansion. No, not for this character. I don't need a build expansion slot. Um... I've got plenty, plenty of those, so don't worry about that. Don't need those. Um, laurels could come in handy. I don't know how many of those we've got in there. I'm thinking we go for that. I want for 60 of them. 26 points left. Uh, no, we've got plenty of those. Um. one more of those and nothing for six is there oh what that's for six and that oh we'll get the coin there we go okay that's fine we'll go up the street soonish um no we have to we're gonna go this way so we okay first let's just, just get the figures right Australia produces less than 1% of the world's pollution. And that's the whole of Australia. 26 million people produce less than 1% of the world's pollution. Okay. The, fair enough, the government could be doing more, but to try to sue them. Because they're doing nothing to help climate change is stupid. Being honest with you, it's the most stupid thing you could possibly do. Alright. You could say, okay, forget the government to help you more, maybe. To help you fight and to survive. Um, and to change what's going to happen no matter what we do as humans. Because there's, no, there's nothing on earth we can do as humans that's going to stop climate change. That's being honest with you. Um, unless by some miracle we find a new way of powering things up or whatever... Um, we're not going to stop it. And that's being 100% honest. If you, if you cannot see that picture, then you are blind. You are very really blind. I'm being honest with you there. It's just like... If you honestly cannot see that picture, then you're either completely blind or stupid. Um, that's being honest with you. The, the, They've had, they've had worse times, they've had greater times, they've had, um, what do you call it, more times over climate change and other things like that. But to blame a government for lack of doing something. Well, if that ever happen, I've got the government would be broke. The government's completely useless most of the time anyway, but to blame it and to do that, when there's nothing the government in, honestly, Australia could do, you could get every single business, every single thing. We could stop producing coal overnight, which then of course, that's not gonna be any good because where are these countries who use, we got over a hundred million people who use coal every day, come from, gonna be, where are they gonna get their, and I fall down there. Where are they gonna get their coal? Well, I was thinking it's gonna fall down there again. And I was like, oh boy, it's gonna be one of those days, is it? Um, and they're gonna use the brown coal, like India. Look at how polluted India is at the moment. They can't even go outside now, and, and exercise is that bad. Delhi's the worst it's ever been um, because the poor farmers, well, the smaller farmers can't afford the equipment to do what they need to like do what the other bigger farmers are doing by by instead of burning stuff off there actually it should be put back into the ground which will help the ground but they seem to be burning it off because they need to they need the crops they can't get the machines this is something the gum their government has to seriously look at and that's caused the whole dally now to basically become unlivable the pollution is the highest it's ever been that's today right 
and yeah, and they're still and these. I can understand their. I can understand their worries. I can understand their um things about their island, but if you look through history, their island is probably sunk and been risen or sunk or whatever. Um, there used to be different format of things and also depend on the earth spin so it's not just one thing or another but to blame the government for it is stupid asking the government to help you combat the climate change help you fight and help you rebuild or help try to hold the tide against it if you can't hold the tide against it find ways to adapt the island so it's better and stuff like that um, better survivability now and into the future is smarter than what you're trying to do because what you do okay you sue the government they contest it you go to court they win or you win the government hands out millions of dollars and you're still no better off right even if they you don't, even if you win the government will fight that in court all the way win lose or draw you're still no better off um it doesn't help the situation by doing that getting the government to help you financially um and getting the government to help your island is far better off and trying to find new ways to adapt to it is a far better way of doing things and the reason why i'm doing this particular jumping puzzle is to get um one of the runes you get out of this the uh, same place as I just before. This is the only way. There's only one more place to go to. Now, I just watched a very interesting story of a lady who basically got in 2010. Almost died because of the um, terrorist organization, or terrorists, I could say terrorist, or just by Muslims who wanted to uh, basically just kill a Jew. And yeah, I was watching, it was very interesting. And I have to agree with, a lot of people won't, won't agree with me, but I actually have to agree with the Jews that, okay, first of all, if you okay, I agree with the um, war thing, right, where you as a person, right, if you war crimes against, against people agree with that, but as soon as you hide behind the civilians, use civilian locations like hospitals is your base um we'll go back to command the box there for a second i want to see if we can trigger this one off um as soon as you do that then you've lost that protection in war oh come on i have to come back to this then Baham buggy. Only three minutes I have to do this next one. Is uh, how I look at it. Okay. If you put your mill, if you first start firing rockets close to hospitals or close to um, camps or close to um, civilian centers, then you lose that protection for war. In the art of war, you lose that. Um, what's called saving grace or whatever you like to call it. No. That moral compass. Um, will be a word for it. No, the moral compass. The you lose that as a protection. Um, in that. Um, and that's being honest with you. As soon as you, I'm going to use a these human, I'm going to kidnap people. You lose that as a war thing. So therefore, your moral argument, your things, um, are against you. Okay, you cannot deal with somebody who kidnaps somebody. They should be eliminated off the face of the earth. Um, and you're refusing to hand back the kidnapped people. Then yeah, you should be. You don't get that privilege 
of saying it's a war crime if people die. Um, if a lot of people will disagree with me on this one, but I don't care. Yes, I know. I believe that we should have peace and quiet, and that there, and I think majority of Palestinians will agree with that too. Um, but the uh, the truth of the matter, Hamas controls Palestine. If uh, you've got an organisation that the leaders aren't even living on that place, living in Gaza Strip, and it's all controlled by these leaders who are controlled by, of course, Iran. We all know where the control comes from and everybody who feels sorry like i feel sorry for the palestinian people um the innocent palestinian people but as i said before there's no such thing as the innocent innocent, innocent um things against tamas because they can't claim that privilege of saying oh no these civilians you're firing upon civilians okay well if you fired your rockets from that open field, we wouldn't be firing the rockets of where you fired them from. So you can get that right to say it's um, their, their innocence because you're foregone that innocence by using, by kidnapping people. Right, that's the first thing. Second thing, by heading him, kidnapping him, and stuff like that, and raping him, doing all those horrific things to innocent people, right? And then declaring a war and saying that you want to eliminate all Jews as your doctrine, you don't get that privilege. Uh, it's like Russia shouldn't get that privilege either because of where it's targeting. It's targeting cities, civilians, um, and they're, they're just as bad. They're actually just as bad, I'd say, as mass. Um, when you get ethnic cleansing happening, like in China, there's, they're doing the same thing against the Uyghurs, which, fair enough, they are Muslims, but they are innocent people. And everybody should have the right to freedom of religion, freedom of beliefs, but long as that religious belief does not interfere with other people's beliefs and religions or freedoms. With the if to me, I've got that's my philosophy on it. Um but as soon as you start to use innocent people as shields, you or you start attacking civilians, you are automatically lost. Right? That is my belief. If you're just going after military targets, now if Russia just went after military targets and tried to avoid harming people. Right? Then yeah, I would hundred I would not support their actions, but I would say okay, it's a it's a war and that's it. It's as simple as that. But as soon as they're going after civilian people, like bombing cities, that's not a military target. To me that is an act of genocide. It's the same as the Muslims doing firing thousands upon rockets upon Israel, attacking Israel, kidnapping their people. It's an act of genocide. And when your own doctrine says that you, you're going to be killing every single one of them, right? And that's your own doctrine. You want to wipe the whole scene, um, the whole land of Israelites. That's an act of genocide. That's not art of war, that's an act of genocide. You're not fighting a traditional war, you're fighting a war against a terrorist organization that wants to wipe your entire race off the planet. Think about that. Okay, so to me, the people, okay, they might, people we call, we as Westerners would call them, um, civilians and the casualties of war, but if they're going after her mass, it's not a casualties of war. Looks like we lost. They're not getting any more of that. Oh, we are. Don't think we are, but oh. I don't know why I keep doing this one, but I keep doing it there. I kind of like doing it. Um, so there's so many different things out there and so many people have different beliefs and that, but you got to look at the facts. The facts are the Israelites don't want war. They want to live in peace. They want... They want the Palestinians to grow. They want them to be 
peaceful neighbour. They want to work with them, they want to live with them, they want that type of peace. Yes, okay, they are doing some wrong things in uh, in Jerusalem and other things like that, but then of course the, the rest of the world can hold them accountable. But this is not about Jerusalem, this is not about the West Bank, this is about terrorism. And it's simple as that. It's about having an enemy that wants to completely wipe your whole kind off the face of the earth. Who wants to wipe every single palette, every single Jewish people, even though they've they've been there for centuries. Right? They've lived there for centuries. Off their land that they call their own land. Now, I don't know about you, but if I've called a land my own land and I've called it for centuries my own land, right, then you don't have the right to take it away from me or kill my people. It's like Australia. I don't see... We look... I look at Australia as like where we li I live in Australia. Yes, the Aboriginals are the oldest living race here. I'll grant you that. But they are also not just the oldest living race but they also haven't got the right to kick us kick us um, out and saying oh it's all this they have to work with us to say okay we want to work peace we want to generate peace we want to generate a working relationship together Right, that's how they should work forward. Yes, we can learn a lot from our Aboriginal, uh, the Aboriginal people, and learn a lot from how they do things and maintain the sort of land and so forth like that. I've jumped over everything on this on this subject today. Okay, so that's selling for. We'll go there and. It's getting a little bit colder in here, but that's fine. Now this one, we want that one there because that's the biggest gold spin we've got. But um, as I said before, I want peace and I want... I'm just going to go flat nine gold. Nine gold, nine silver, they're ripping people off. Nine gold, nine silver and that. It's not ripping people off because I know how much it costs. I'm pretty much doubling my cost there, but I'm not real. I'm almost doubling my cost. Um, you got to be fair in the prices you do things. Oops. And that, to me, is fair. Um, that's a fair price for that. And... Yeah, as I said before, you want to maintain, you want to do that, you want to live in peace, you want, they, they want that, they don't want to have, be at war with other people, they want peace. Yes, okay, there is some people doing some things wrong. Well, they sell for the 20 person. Yeah, not worth it. Um, and that's being honest with you, Every, it is multiple countries that do wrong. Use all those off. Use that off. That can be destroyed because of what it is. Garbage thing. Plunk that away. Shrink that down. Let's put what we can put into here. We've still got to go to get one other thing and we could do another thing as well. But we can do that. Uh, that we want to hang on to because we want to carefully select that. If we, we want, if we want another weapon. Um, that's a very careful selection there, that one. Um, yeah, I said before, peace is the only way forward, but when you have an organisation that wants to kill you, how do you make peace with an organisation that just wants to kill you and all your kind? You can't. It's impossible. Um, they want to wipe you off the face of the earth. It's simple as that. They want to eliminate you and all your kind off the face of the earth. Bit like what happened to the what Germans did to the Jews, right? 
to like, and but they call that, but some people go, um, the Holocaust was an inconvenient um, thing for the Jews. But ha, I'm sorry, but I cannot blame the Jews for what they don't. And that to me, there's no innocent. I'm, other people will disagree with me. I don't care. That's their problem. There are, um, there are innocent people in Gaza. But as an act of war, I'm going to say there's no innocent people because you're fighting against a terrorist organization that wants to kill your whole kind. Right? Who kidnaps, beheads people, who wants to kill um, people for no other reason bar the Jewish. Uh, we have to find more of those. Trogan. So I'm a bit busy doing stuff at the moment because I've got a new shirt. Shoot out. Sorry, I'm just trying to time. Uh, an argument. Um, For a second, turn to 50 for 20 gold. Oh, how much do we need to make? Oh, yeah, 20. If we make 20, okay, so that's 20 gold. Cost me to do that. Right, 
but we can make what 20 10 20 21 22 of those off that 22 we can make literally 22 of those we can't I don't really make yeah. and they're worth currently three gold so that's not too bad it's this here that's going to see how much it costs to make sure that's when you make the globe thing I've got that there which you can but those I can make those with that so there's no problem in there oh, wow that looks awesome shit Oh, that is bloody awesome. <laughs> now we'll flog this off. And we know how much roughly it costs. That's okay. So all that for that. But anyway, that's my personal opinion. Um, like, I have no problem with anybody's religious beliefs. They can believe what they want to believe. Um, and I respect their beliefs. Right? What I do have a problem is, as soon as you start sprouting, your beliefs are better than everybody else's. That you have to control the women or whatever in your life and you have no choice but to do all this evil things and well, you know, basically bullshit, right? And I call that bullshit. As soon as you try to control other people, other other religion, other other people like women in your life and stuff like that, you lost. You've lost me. And as far as I'm concerned, you tell women what to do and how to do it is wrong in my books always has been always will be wrong in my books that will mail that to super he might find something use out of that we don't need any dice so it can't help us out the die I'm after I have to basically be playing for a long time um I can't there's some dice I can't get in the game I don't think which is fair enough now we want to put this away and then sell this garbage and continue on our journey because we do have a lot to do. And we, I mean, a lot to do. We're just dealing with somebody else at the moment with a shirt. No. No. Hello? Oh, that's it. That's that done. I've done everything here. I can't collect anything from here. Okay. Now, um, I'll take care of that later. We'll just put this character away.
Uh, go for the rest of that stuff. I've still got a lot of stuff to do yet, and I've still got to go out up the street yet as well. And I've got to test my, test my blood sugar levels as well. So this is just collecting goodies here. Oh, my farm is playing up a bit. The hell is it? Oh, it's only missing two. That unlock. Anyway. Um, this is the other one I get. Oh, I'm not supposed to worry about that one. We're just collecting this one. Um, so my best is before, I personally believe in peace. I believe in we should give everybody a fair crack at the, the sauce bottle, so to speak, um, and work together to make it a better place. I just got this shirt that says birthplace, earth, race, human, politics, um, freedom, and religion, love. Now, with a peace symbol on the course on it, I'm made up for me. Now, the reason why I got that made up, because that's what we all are. We're all humans, right? And we've got to stop this other thing saying, oh, no, you're not human, you're subhuman and all this bullshit, or you're half cast and that. That is the wrong way of thinking about it. I'm not racist, never have been, never will be. I'm not anti-phobic, I'm not anti-religious either. You want to choose to believe in a, myth, in your, in a mythical being, that's your choice. I am not going to hold that against you. Um, I'm going to test my blood sugar levels too. I think it don't. Um, yeah, I got the first one, didn't I? Yeah. Get it. Um, and I'm like... That's my personal belief. We are all one. There's no other no other way you can look at it other than that. Okay, we're gonna test our blood sugar levels first and then we can continue on. And if we don't look at it any if we look at it that way, then we wouldn't have these problems. Right, yes, okay, they're two different people living in the same land, which the well, the, the humans living in the same land who have different beliefs. They both can trace their heritage back maybe even millennia back to there. Now at the moment it's all owned to and they call it their holy land. Now, they call it their ancestral land and holy land and stuff like that. Technically, there was no Palestine. Palestine wasn't created until, until after World War I or World War II, I believe. Um, it didn't exist. There was no such thing as a Palestinian people. Right? That was made up by... NATO or whatever, like all oh, United Nations, and to call it anything other than that, um, to say they were there, right? The Israelites can trace their heritage back before Christ, right? So, if you can trace your heritage back before Christ, you should have a native claim to that land. But if you can't claim do that, then you can't really say, oh, yeah, the, the, the stuff like that. But now we're going back to the innocent people. Yes, I believe there are innocent people in Gaza. There are innocent people, but Hamas loses that privilege of trying to claim that they're innocent. Because when you use terrorist attacks, when you launch missiles from next door to a hospital or next door to a refugee camp or build your tunnels underneath 
um, underneath a hospital, you've lost that privilege of the art of war of calling it um, war crime. Because you cannot call it a war crime when your leaders are not even in the same country. Um, they don't live there, have nothing to do with the country. They were voted in once. They haven't been voted. No, there's been no other election um, held since. Um, it's not a free democracy. It's not the people um, the people of the Palestine, or you like to call it, are not free from your terrorist organisation. You don't get that privilege of calling it... Um, New build available, your game will restart in 45 minutes. Uh, okay, that's fine. We'll get what we can done and dust it. Um, and then we'll probably shoot off and then go get, get someone to re do the stuff we have to do on the street. Which pisses me off because it's annoying. Cause the, the updates, and when I load the updates in now, they're going to tell me I've got to restart everything. Um, We've got 45 minutes to do everything we want to get done. And you you lose the, you lose that right. If you put if you your base is say like you have a proper military base and you're targeting that proper military base or they're targeting that proper military base and occasionally you might get innocent people in there, that's different. Yes, okay, people say all oh, night no, because it's such a Highly dense population. Uh, okay, fine. Highly dense population. Still the same problem. You get, you don't get that privilege of calling it a war crime because you fail to do so because of you're targeting, you're kidnapped people, you're targeting civilian populations, you are. Um, you are firing thousands upon thousands of firing thousands of rockets against Israel, who do not who would not be firing rockets in you. Well, they just in some same they call it defense. Okay, it's slightly a bit more than defense. They're they're going well. You want to attack us? We're going to wipe out every single Hamas there is, which I have no problem with. Honestly, I do not see the problem with that. Yes, the innocent people will, some innocent people will die from it, but that's neither here nor there. And all it takes, a lot of their personal people, because some of those people have got to be remembered. But as I said before, <laughs> if you claim that you do not support a two state solution, then you you basically believe in genocide. You claim that you support Hamas, you believe in genocide. You claim you support, um, the, if you claim that they, that, that the hostage taking was legit, then you believe in genocide. If you claim that the Hamas firing thousands upon, uh, uh, thousands upon rockets against Israel and then calling that a Act of war or act of let's say um, and, uh, uh, self defense, you believe in genocide. Um, if you claim that Hamas has no choice but to build their tunnels and build all these tunnels and build all these, um, uh, that want to last, uh, build all these tunnels in, um, underneath hospitals and build the headquarters and you believe in genocide. You don't believe in peace. Peace to me is supporting each other and working together to make this a better world for all humans, regardless of your beliefs. Right? That's how I look at it. If you can't see that, then you're the one that's wrong. You're the one that's on the wrong side of history. And you, if you cannot see that, then you're the one that is promoting hatred and supporting hatred and supporting the evil of the world. I honestly believe in peace 100%. And that's being honest with you.
I believe that we all are one. We are, we should be fighting. To, we shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be working to make this a better country, a better world for all humans, not just one particular race or one particular kind of human uh, or a particular kind of human. We should be making it for all humans because we are all human. And a lot of people fail to see that when you kidnap people, you're not human. You are below human. When you kidnap innocent people, uh, you are below human. When you target the innocent people, purposely target innocent people, like I oh, kidnap them, behead them, take them as hostages, you have failed. And you are below human. You're not a, you're not a, um, a group that can be trusted. You're not, a, you're not a people that need to. When you're attacking non-military targets, you are non-human. You are far as I'm concerned, you do not exist. You don't have that right to declare yourself that. The leaders in your organization, and when you have your manifesto to say, I have to kill all hu kill all Jews, you are non-human. Um, you don't deserve that peace like everybody else gets. You don't deserve that freedom. So to speak. Do you really want it? Anything else? Anybody else want to play? You don't deserve that freedom. You don't deserve that. That thing of what I would call, um, yeah, like the war crimes and so forth that, that don't exist right because you are using civilians as hostages you use civilians as shields you're using the hospitals as shields and you then claim, try to claim that your leaders aren't even in that same country they're corrupt they are controlled by Iran what more do you need to know what more do we need to keep saying to you to say Enough is enough. You need to stop what you're doing and you need to do it now. You need to hand the hostages over, dismantle all your tunnels of all your um, all the tunnels and cease fire of all the rockets against Israel and remove that statement against Israel. Try to work to try to work with the people and do that and have fair um fair fair um democracy. That won't ever happen because, honestly, if you look at all the Western world, if you look at majority of the world, where are most of the troubles? Be honest with yourself. Where does the most of the trouble stem from? And it's religion. And it's mostly Muslim religion. I'm being 100% honest with you there. Yes, there is um, other conflicts around the world that are different religious groups are fighting each other and stuff like that. But in the 21st century, it's Muslim. Who has less... Who has, Look at Afghanistan, for instance. Just a perfect example. Afghanistan. They don't... They control all their women. They can pretty much the women have lost all the freedoms they've had before. They built up, and now they've completely lost them all. You can't leave a house without. You can't travel so far from your own house without a one male relative. Who the fuck has who said who the fuck does that? Oh, by the way, another country does that too. I mean, honestly. And you have to have a veil, and there's also the morality police in some one country. I mean, really, morality police saying, "Oh no, you're not wearing a hijab right now." The hijab and the full burqa were never worn in the Muslim religion for two hundred years. Two hundred years. It was a man-introduced thing. Right? It's simple. Okay, there was a race of humans that lived um, 
there was a race of non-Muslims that lived in an area where it was all sand, right? So they're dealing with sand, they're dealing with um, stuff like that. And their whole idea is... Okay, we just jumped, I think we just jumped up. Um, they're, okay, the reason why they, both men and women wore head covering. And they call it a burqa back then, they called it something else. They could, it's basically a head covering, right? And the women wore this head covering when the men left the village because, oh, well, first of all, it's to stop standing and getting into it. And also, they didn't want strangers, strange men looking at their women. Um, and trying to instill them because that's what happened back then because of their beauty and of course the men wore them as well in the desert as well because you got the desert wind and all that this is was a non-religious garment worn by two by males and females so you have a non-religious garment worn by male and female um they haven't been they don't need to be um not part of any religious groups not part of uh, any religious groups. Um, and you have, as before, a non religious um, garment not worn by any religion um and of course the muslims eventually take over this particular land and since the muslims take it over they they said oh you're gonna make they, they, they took it over and they said oh look they actually even said to them you don't have to wear that right and they go but we want to it's, it's part of our heritage part of our culture so the muslims even though they introduced they basically made them well basically forced them into uh, into that religion because that's what a lot of back then that's what they did they basically go oh yeah okay you're non you join our religion or else we got 300 we made today just doing that which is turns out to be three um so we need yeah so it's basically all that but they didn't have to wear it they didn't have to worry about that they didn't have to wear it but they wanted to wear it and so the muslims just added that into their holy book right and they added stuff into it so it hasn't been it wasn't part of written by god it wasn't written by anybody else it was added by humans now today fast forward thousand years or two thousand years or whatever you like to call it after christ um you now have men controlling women and by saying controlling them by saying you have to wear this burka you have to wear that and you have women believing that thinking on oh, no, that they have no choice but to wear it well, I believe it's part of their religious culture or part of their religion. It's not true. So once you get over that fact and you realize that, hold on, it's a control thing, then you as a person should be standing up against all, all suppression of women's rights that way. But of course, today's world is that they put a freaking male as a woman of the they made in America male woman as a year. I'm like, what the fuck? This this is how bad that concept of I think I don't know if it's humans in general or just a particular type of human or a particular um, thing is actually the women they've been putting women down. Not supporting to me. Women should be supported and treated as equals. Um, it's the same as any, anybody else. They're, to me, they're just as important, if not more so, than males in society. Um, well, women, we can't have children. Simple as that. Um, so, but then to control them and force them into 
wearing a religious garment that honestly was not part of your religion for 200 years. That was man introduced by males into the religion and now forced by some group, some fanaticals that they have to wear a moral code of conduct. I mean, really, this, these people really are living so far back in history. It's not funny. They make the Stone Ages look like they were... They make, the, they make cavemen look like they were highly intelligent. They probably were. At least the cavemen probably didn't have all these religious bloody nutjob views about... My God's better than your God. Uh, you can't do that. You know, all this bullshit, but it's just a joke. Um, it's a sad joke because we're all human. You should not be controlling women. You should not be forcing women to wear a so-called religious garment when it hasn't been part of your religion. It was not part of your religion for 200 years. It was introduced by man, not God, if you want to call it that. Um, and you can't tell me that's part of the religious um, doctrine and all of that when it wasn't. No, no, I, I could go on and more. Another, story, another interesting story. North of, I think it's Turkey. Muslim, Muslim groups live there, which is fair enough. Um, I've got nothing against that, but they live off the land so they live off the wild animals of the land and what n nature or if you like to call it god sub um, supplies them not only do they drink alcohol which they make they actually eat pork because the pork is the most predominant animal there the meat animal there they, they have to cook and it's, an, it's a wild source of food but in their religion, you can't eat pork. But even though these are Muslims, so they're contradicting their religious beliefs as far as some extreme nut jobs would do it. Like, okay, fair enough. Okay, you've got Christianity. Christianity's got the extreme nut jobs. You've also got the, the Jewish people who've got the extreme nut job ones as well who, who don't go to the army, don't do all that, but they never live a religious life but they don't get to vote they don't get to do a lot of things in the country which I can understand that but also they are extremists um, but at least those extremists don't go around terrorizing their neighbors or supposed to terrorize their neighbors kidnap people um, torture them and behead them and rape them and stuff like that and declare a holy war against them and saying they're all gonna die in the name of um, their God I haven't seen a single one do that. I might get, I think they get angry at them and stuff like that, but I don't know all the story, but nothing been on the news saying that these particular, these particular um, Jewish sect of people are basically um, wanting to kill all Muslims. As far as I'm concerned, that hasn't happened. But there's no news about that in all history, as far as I know. We're almost finished here anyway. Can't get to that one, which is annoying. Probably go up the street in a minute anyway, but any, oh, I'm just talking in general, but I'm sad that we humans can't live in peace. And we can't look at each other as one being, one race, one, one culture. Okay, one culture will be different because we're different cultures, um, different ways we've been raised and stuff like that. But we can't look at each other and say, look, we're all human. We all got to live together. We all got to live on this earth together. Let's make it work together. Let's work it out, work our differences out. and Work our differences out and work and learn to work together. Learn to love each other, learn to say, okay, you've got a different belief than me, that's fine. Let's work together and make a better place together. But that's just me. 
I'm, I'm a dreamer. Um, but when you have organizations that all they want to do is killing you, uh, that's all they want to do. Thank you. And that's all they want to do. Then that, then you are facing. You are facing pure terror. You're facing evil. You're not facing anybody who's trying to be diplomatic. Okay, I'm going to say, okay, you're on my land. That's fine. Um, we want it back or whatever. That's fine. But if you're saying, okay, okay, so now I can't do anything about this at the moment. It's all I do. The updates. Okay, that's fine. Done. Dust. We'll just put this aside. Um, we'll leave here and we'll put this away in the bank. Then we go into the other place and do that. Then we'll head off up the street. It's already after 12 o'clock. It's getting a bit chilly in the wind. See, if as soon as you start preaching hatred towards other people, you lose. As soon as you start saying, oh, or all, all, all these particular people have to die, you've lost your argument. As soon as you start going, oh no, I go, you believe in peace? If you truly believe in peace and love, and you truly believe that we are one race, then yes, I have respect for you. I will, I will support you and I will and fight for you. I will even fight for your belief. I might not agree with your belief, but I would fight for your belief. And I'll fight for your what your existence and life. But as soon as you turn around and tell me that I'm sorry, but these other people have to all die, then you've lost. You've lost me as a support potential supporter. You lost me as a friend. You lost me as the human. And in some ways, you've lost it. You are no longer human. All right. As soon as you want to have commit war, genocide upon other people, then you have literally lost them. You lost your. What's the word I'm looking? Trying to look. No, we want one across there. Like around three across there. Not. Ugh. That's fine. Then. Everything else is fine. Dandy, 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 dandy. I guess all that garbage stuff. Um, pick up anything and then. Go from there. But, yeah, a mess should be removed. Anybody who says anything other than that should really consider. So, we can't really do anything else at the moment. Can't go to World Be World um, because that would be locked out as well. Uh, we have to wait for the things. We've got to do one keep creature or tower guardian. Three more tower guardians. We could do that. They're all try to get that. We can't do anything in that one, so that's fine. Um, we can't do any more. We could do Wizard's Tower stuff, but it's neither here nor there. We can't do anything in there, so it resets itself. And we can't do it. We can't we could do that one today sometime. So that's fine. And we can't do anything in here. Oh. Okay. Forgot. We maxed all this out so we can just pull. Um, as soon as you do that, then it's fine. As soon as you start setting up um, your bases underneath hospitals, using terrorist tactics by kidnapping people and stuff like that, you've lost your argument. Uh, as soon as you start attacking civilians and innocent people, you've lost your argument. You can say that Israelites are attacking civilians and innocent people, yes, but they have no choice. They honestly have no choice. How do you fight an organization that's using those people as human shields? That is controlling those people and not doing anything for those people. That is taking millions of dollars from those people. And that you literally would have paradise on earth if all that money was spent, truly spent in there. We can't we'll do two of those, but we can't do those two again. 
to get what's her name. So let's just go back to where we were and we'll log off and we'll call it quits today. I've said my peace. I believe in peace and love and goodwill to all mankind. And we should all work to that goal. Um, but my own personal belief, I'll stick to it. I've got to finish off the guild stuff later. Um, yeah, there's not much else I can do at the moment in the game. My name's Commander Black Star Lord at your service signing off. Thank you again for watching my videos and all comments are welcome and I wish that the I wish safety and peace for people in um, Israel and Palestine. Um the innocent people wish that they somehow managed to make it through this and that peace will eventually find a way and a mess that will be eliminated. So there won't be any more terrorist attacks against Israel. From them and there won't be any more innocent people kidnapped um, raped or beheaded from this organization and that this organization and all its members get removed from the planet earth that's my personal opinion um i'm going to sign off peace and love to all and um you all take it easy and have a great day and all comments are welcome